everybody, and welcome to another episode of War Machines. So, last time, we started Heat F, where another set of 12 robots all made their debut and looked to provide that first impression to show that they have what it takes to claim a spot in the semifinal and then potentially win three matchups in their semifinal bracket to show that they have what it takes to compete with all the big dogs and get to the grand final. We certainly saw that on quite a few of those robots. We are now down to eight of those 12 robots. Those eight robots were all seated as revealed in the last bracket, and we'll fight it out tonight, where the robot wins three matchups and claim that next grand final spot, while two, maybe three others, will be in the last chance section of this tournament, which will happen right before the grand final. I know we already revealed the bracket at the end of the last episode, but let's quick review it to see who all is fighting tonight and check out all the juicy matchups we'll be seeing in the first round potentially be seeing in the next couple of rounds. Let's check out the bracket. And here is the bracket. So on the left side there, we start off with The Apprentice and Uppercut. The Apprentice looked very good, very dominant in, the, in their first match, so it explains why they're probably one of the high seeds here. They'll be taking on Uppercut, who had to go through the Redemption Rumbles, very good in their recent matchup. Then down below there we have Uber, Too Furious, and Shiok. A battle of two non-battle bots contenders, both of them having drum spinners. That should be another fun fight, and another brawl to the absolute bunch. Then over on the right side we have Riptide and Valkyrie, two big names from battle bots, two massive spinners. I expect that one's also going to be a full of destruction, and certainly one of these robots is probably going to go home in pieces. Then down below we have Ripper and Captain Shredder Eater, two other pretty well-known robots who also, who both look quite solid in the opening round matchup. That should be another fun fight to see between these two robots that I imagine could go either way. So this should be a fun episode. I imagine that winning these three fights is not going to be easy, because we got quite a few robots that looked very good in the last episode. So, yeah, whoever wins these three matchups is sure going to earn it. Anyway, I think we should go ahead and start talking about our first match of the episode and get to the fun. So our first match of the episode features two drum spinners, neither of them from BattleBots. On the left side we have Tuber, Too Furious, and on the right side we have Shiok. So on the left side we have Tuber, Too Furious, coming off of, coming off of a victory or vertical spinner, Adam94, in that opening round matchup, where they show that the sheer power of that drum spinner sure does give them an upper hand in many of their matchups. And then on the right side we got Shiok, who definitely struggled a bit in that matchup with Uppercut, but showed they were able to outlast Uppercut and was able to get the job done in order to get here. So, so yeah, this one, this one could come down to quite a bit of stuff here. Because on one hand we got Two Bird, Two Furious, where I think they have the more effective drum spinner between the two robots. Can they dish out the pain to Shiok, who definitely proved in that matchup with Uppercut they are absolutely vulnerable to stuff like that, despite the high amount of armor on there. The big thing that I think could really get involved is could that wedge be a big factor in this match? Two Bird, Two Furious doesn't have a lot of ground game on the front, so could Shiok really throw that wedge into play here in this match? I think they're going to try to use that as well as that fellow drum spinner of theirs to control the pace of the match and dish out some damaging shots of their own. Yeah, regardless, I think this is going to be a fun fight to see. I imagine this is going to be an absolute brawl between these two robots, an absolute fight to the finish in order to claim that first spot in the final four. This should be an exciting fight, so let's go ahead and get to this showdown. Time for this matchup to begin! Both bots circling around the other. Shiok coming in for an attack and the invert tuber to Furious takes that robot into the rails. One thing that is for sure, I was expecting that wedge really could come into play here. And certainly that is the case right now. As well as the fact that the Shiok has a much, much more powerful drive here. They're using that to the fullest to push Tuberg around. However, I've seen a lot of pieces flying around and Super confused, not sure what that was exactly. Spinning in place like that, like as if they were doing some form of dance. But right now, Shiok just on the attack once again. Many parts have been flying, 
so far in this fight. Not sure who they're part of so far. I want to imagine they're pieces of two bird, two furious, but it really could be either direction. I see there is a piece taken out of that wedge as well, so it could be damage being done by both bots. These are two effective drum spinners we have in this battle so far. One minute into this fight, gotta say that Jacques is in the lead so far. That wedge has been a huge factor in this match, but definitely don't count out Two Bird Two Furious. I think they started out their opening round match on the losing end, and they they were able to bounce back and win that one by a control board KO. Could they do the same thing here? And there goes a wheel on on Two Bird Two Furious. Jacques attacked that bot from the side and managed to get that wheel off, and now they have them pinned in the corner. Jock definitely really taking control of this fight right now, just not giving Two Bird Two Furious an inch. And, and there goes the drum spinner of Jock. Jock has now lost that primary weapon, so now they are a push bot. But what about Two Bird Two Furious? They don't have any, they, they have only one wheel, and so Jock is still able to take control of this match. However, two bird two furious, they aren't landing quite as many damaging shots as they were earlier in this match or in the fight with Am94. So I almost wonder if some of those bits that we were seeing in the flying in the first minute of the match may have been pieces of the drum spinner itself. That would be huge for Jacques as well. But right now they are just out pushing and out controlling two bird two furious here in this last minute of the fight and not looking to give them an inch in this one. 30 seconds left to go in this match. I think Jacques is pretty safely in the lead right now. Two Bird Two Furious needs to do something big to turn this match around. They might need a knockout in like these last 20 seconds. Not sure if that's going to be able to happen though. Oh, because they only have one wheel. So they, their movement is just has just been incredibly hindered since then. 10 seconds left to go in the match. It is looking like we are going to start the episode off with a judge's decision. And what an absolute brawl it was between these two contenders. So yeah, right off the bat, Jock knew they wanted to really get that wedge involved in this match. And use that to be able to outwedge Two Bird Two Furious and control the brunt of the match with that in the drum spinner. And certainly, I think that played played out really well for them. They really took advantage of the lack of ground game that Two Bird Two Furious has. But they definitely took quite a lot of damage in the process. There were pieces flying throughout fight, at least. Both bots took a lot of damage in the match, so they're definitely going to have quite a few repairs to do. That shot that we just saw with the lost wheel is what I think really put it in Jacques' favor. Despite them losing the drum spinner, not long after that moment, they were able to use that wedge just to continue to absolutely body Two Bird Two Furious and keep them from landing too many devastating shots at the drum spinner. I think this is going to be a pretty easy judge decision, but how about those style points right there for Two Bird Two Furious? So yeah, the judges' votes are in, and we have a unanimous decision. The winner of this match is... So yeah, I think that was a pretty easy decision. That was a very well-driven match by that robot. Just absolutely using that wedge to their advantage, using their ground game to be able to absolutely control the match and just not give Two Bird Two Furious much of an inch. They did take quite a bit of damage in the match, so they'll definitely have some stuff to prepare for for when they take on either the Apprentice or Uppercut in their next match. Speaking of that match, let's go ahead and talk about that one next, because it is our next fight tonight. On the left side, we got The Apprentice, who messed up record in a little over a minute for a very fast KO in that fight. They'll be taking on Uppercut, who started off with a loss to Jacques, who just won in their last match, but then managed to redeem themselves with a victory over Sigma Raptor and Battle Royale with Cheese in the Redemption Rumble with pretty solid victory there. Now they have to go do The Apprentice, so yeah, I imagine that I doubt this fight is going to last the full three minutes. We have two hard-hitting weapons when it comes to that horizontal spinner of The Apprentice and that vertical bar spinner of Uppercut, which both looked very solid and very destructive in their matchups from the last episode. 
though, who's going to be able to take advantage of the other's weaknesses better? The Apprentice is definitely vulnerable to taking damage within those wedges or those wheels, as we've seen in some of their past matchups. Same thing with Uppercut when it comes to those exposed wheels and some of those other exposed parts. So I think whoever gets those damaging shots in first is going to be the one to come out on top. And I expect we're going to see some scary weapon-on-weapon -weapon exchanges between these two robots. So, yeah, because that's just what happens when there are two big and devastating spinners in the arena. Regardless of what happens, I'm all for it, and I'm excited to see this matchup. So I think we should go ahead and get to this showdown and find out who's going to be fighting Shock in the next round. Time for this match to begin! Both robots inching towards the others, some weapon-on-weapon -weapon action right off the bat. The apprentice showing their backs up, they knock Uppercut off balance, so they got a whole wheel with that shot right there! A huge shot by The Apprentice! The Apprentice all over Uppercut to start this matchup! Knockout! Well, I was expecting this fight to be fast, not 21 seconds fast. The Apprentice was just all over Uppercut right after that moment right there where they knocked Uppercut off balance, got to the wheels of Uppercut, got to the frame of Uppercut, got to the internals of Uppercut, and managed to get the KO. What a dominant performance by The Apprentice once again, showing that this former Top 8 robot is definitely still in it. Impressive performance. For our third match of the first round of this bracket, we have Captain Shredderator versus Ripper. On the left side, we have Captain Shredderator, who took it to Sigma Raptor and managed to win a relatively easy judges decision there. For their first ever War Machines victory too, nonetheless. Then on the right side, we have Ripper, Flipper bot from Robot Wars, who came from the Robot Wars class and looked to try to compete with some of the big boys here in this class. So yeah, that Flipper bot definitely proved to be pretty efficient in that fight with Valkyrie, and that certainly came into play and led them towards a victory right there. Now they're taking on another horizontal spinner, this time Captain Shredder. And the big factor here is the fact that Captain Shredder here cannot sell right. So Ripper is going to be trying to flip them over and try to win the fight that way. Captain Shredder's strategy will probably be trying to avoid that flipper as much as they can and prevent them from flipping them over. So, yeah, and obviously also try to dish out some damaging shots with that spinner. So, a lot could really come into play in this match and quite a few factors that could come into determining who wins this match and claims that next spot in the final four. So yeah, we got two more awesome robots about to make the arena. I'm certainly excited for this matchup here, and I think we should go ahead and get to this showdown. Time for this match to begin. Shredder getting that spirit to speed. Ripper charging in there, looking to box rush. They're taking a couple shots, but not a successful flip right there, because they whiffed on that one. Shredder using that full body spinner to fend off Ripper, hoping that if they can get that, keep that spinner up to full speed, they'll be able to prevent Ripper from getting underneath them and flipping them over. Hopefully that'll be the case. And they keep doing it throughout the entire match. Can they disable Ripper and before Ripper accomplishes that task? Quite a few shots being landed right there. I see a piece already. I think that's part of the front of Ripper right there. And, yeah, one of the big factors here is just the fact that also Captain Shredder can't sell, along with Captain Shredder here, not being able to sell right, is that Ripper can't really dish out much damage here. So Shredder is going to be trying to dish out as much damage as they can here. Ripper has had a few opportunities where they've gotten underneath them, but haven't landed a flip yet. Yeah, so far Shredder here has been able to fend them off as much as possible. They got a little lift right there, though was Ripper. That was kind of their first big moment of the match. They missed time to flip and flip themselves right there. So yeah, Captain Strider here in the lead so far as, we're pa as we pass the first minute right now. Able to get quite a few shots with that full body spinner. Nice lift right there from Ripper. They haven't been able to flip Captain Strider over, which is definitely their main goal in a fight like this. 
so far is Shredder you're doing a good job of evading that flipper long enough, preventing Ripper from flipping them over. I see Ripper lost one of those wedgelets completely right there. So that could make it harder for Ripper to get underneath Captain Shredder in this match. A little over a minute to go here, and definitely while I think Shredder has been dictating the pace and how this matchup has gone, control the match wise, Ripper, I think, has definitely been the bigger aggressor here. So, Ripper is definitely still in this fight. This is absolutely a winnable fight still for Ripper. But it would definitely all be over quickly if they could just flip Captain Shredder over. But they're doing a great job preventing that from happening. So we got a little over 30 seconds left to go. Big launch by Ripper! The, and that's definitely the biggest moment of the match so far, in my opinion. But definitely hasn't been enough so far on the scorecard here. Because it's definitely been a pretty close back and forth match. I think Shredder definitely has had more moments in this fight. But I think Ripper's had some of the better ones. That was a big moment by Shredderator knocking Ripper into the corner, tossing them um, over the top of them. And yeah, looks like we're about to have another judge's decision because this fight is now over. And it's now in the hands of the judges after some last second shots from Shredderator. So how are the judges going to score this match exactly? Because say by the current standards of the criteria at least, I think control for the most part was won by Captain Shredderator, but definitely Ripper had some pretty rock solid moments, had a couple really solid lifts, some bigger moments of the match in my opinion, in my eyes. Ripper was definitely the better aggressor between the two robots. Shredderator definitely did a lot more with their full body spinner than what Ripper was able to do with their flipper in this match. So, quite a few categories favor one robot over the other, but total-wise, I imagine this is going to be a pretty close judge decision. That flip right there was, in my opinion, the biggest hit of the match from either robot. This one was a nice shot from Shredderator, managing to send Ripper over the top of them. Regardless, I think this is going to be a pretty close judge decision. Let's hear what the judges had to say. So, the judges' votes are in. And we have another unanimous decision. The winner is... Captain Shredderator. So yeah, looks like some of those long, late launches in the fight wasn't enough for that rope for Ripper in order to propel it over Captain Shredderator. But it was still a pretty impressive showdown. How about Captain Shredderator? Winless in the first two seasons of War Machines, they have acquired their first two victories so far this season. They'll be moving on to the top four. Will they take on Valkyrie? Or will they get a rematch from the, the BattleBots showdown with Riptide? We'll have to find out in our next matchup because that fight is coming up next. Let's go ahead and start talking about that one. So, for our last matchup for the first round, we have Riptide versus Valkyrie, two pretty big names in BattleBots. On the left side, we got Riptide, who is all over Battle Royale with Cheese and managed to get a pretty dominant victory. Then on the right side, we got Valkyrie, who had to go through the redemption round after a judge's decision loss to Ripper, but then had a dominant showing in that rumble with Adam 94 and Wrecker in order to get to this spot. So this is another fight that I definitely don't expect it to go the full three minutes. We got two very dangerous weapons when it comes to Riptide's egg beater and Valkyrie's undercutter that's sure to give the other a lot of trouble in this match. So this is probably going to come down to who can deliver damaging shots first, because I imagine somebody's spinner is probably going to break in, in such a fight like this or the other one might be able to outdrive the other and park at the exposed areas or something. I don't know, but I'm expecting a lot of violent exchanges very early on in this match based on both these robot styles. So, so yeah, I'm excited for this one. I think there's going to be a lot that's going to really come into play in this one. We're probably going to see a lot of destruction, and one of these robots probably going to be dead by the end of this fight. So, let's go ahead start go start this matchup
preparing for this match to begin. Both bots made in the middle, some weapon on weapon shots early on. Valkyrie with a couple taps to the side and already Riptide is smoking here. Some more weapon on weapon shots that popped up Valkyrie, popped up Riptide as well. Now Valkyrie grinding at the sides of Riptide. Valkyrie found an opening and this certainly was it. Now Valkyrie attacking the sides again. Riptide trying to get away and trying to turn their front towards them, but Valkyrie not letting that happen. Riptide inverted. Now they're right side up once again. Some more weapon on weapon shots between these two robots that pop up both bots. Nice shots by Riptide right there, knocking Valkyrie off balance. Valkyrie now inverted and now looking to flip themselves right back over. Riptide's kind of slow right now. I wonder if they took some, they probably took some major damage from those, from that first minute worth of shots. The more violent exchanges from these two robots. And now Valkyrie on the attack again, attacking the sides. I think they got a wheel right there. Valkyrie is really taking it to this big named egg beater bot from BattleBots. Not the outcome I was expecting, knowing what Riptide has shown to be very capable of in BattleBots. A lot of weapon on weapon exchanges between these two robots. Some of them which favored Riptide, some of them which favored Valkyrie. But how about this stuff from Valkyrie? Those gyroscopic forces made it hard for Riptide to be well controlled in this match. And Valkyrie took advantage of that, was attacking the sides, attacking the backside, was able to knock Riptide off balance several times, leaving them vulnerable to more hits. And yeah, but Valkyrie definitely took a lot of damage themselves, because certainly they got popped into the air many times by that egg beater. Definitely should be glad that they didn't that Riptide didn't catch a wheel on that robot or something like that, or just completely decapitate that horizontal spinner right there. And then this shot right here took off a wheel, which set Riptide up for control board KO and led to the victory for Valkyrie. So yeah, that's going to do it for the first round after that victory by Valkyrie. And now we have our top four, which features the apprentice, Jiak, who will fight it out for a spot in tonight's final. And on the right side, we got Valkyrie and Captain Shredder here. Val between two Battlebots contenders. So, yeah, sad that we have to say goodbye to Uppercut, Tuber, Too Furious, Riptide, and Ripper. But we'll hopefully see all four of them again. Because there are going to be some events happening at the end of the season. So definitely this won't be the last time we see many of those robots. Anyway, then, we have our top four. One of these robots is going to claim that grand final spot. And let's go ahead and start talking about our first match now. Get one step closer to figuring out who that is. And so for our first matchup in the top four, we have Captain Shredder versus Valkyrie, a battle between two horizontal spinners from BattleBots. First up, we have Captain Shredderator at Full Body Spinner. Pretty impressive season they're having so far. It's in the first two seasons that they've been on this show, they didn't get a single win. However, they're 2-0 right now with those victories over Sigma Raptor and Rip. However, though, those are both control bots. This is the first time they're up against a spinner so far this season because their opponent on that right side is Valkyrie who's looked pretty good themselves so far this season. Coming into the season, Valkyrie started off with a loss to Ripper, and then really redeemed themselves in the Redemption Rumble ever in their first round matchup, with two pretty dominant victories, including that last one where they took out big named Riptide. Definitely showing that Valkyrie absolutely has what it takes to potentially make a deep run. But how well will Valkyrie hold up to the full body spinner of Captain Shredder? Captain Shredder is pretty well designed to take on horizontal spinners, so I think that could give them a major advantage in this one. But we haven't seen how well Captain Shredder here can hold up when it comes to taking spinner attack. Because Valkyrie, pretty much all they can really do is get that horizontal spinner up to full speed and attack that shell and hope to break something important. So, yeah. I expect we're going to see a ton of weapon on weapon action in a fight like this, and this is another fight where I don't think it'll go the full three minutes. So, so yeah, this should be a pretty fun fight to watch. Great fight to start the final four off here. I'd say let's go ahead and get to this showdown.
Time for this match to begin. Both bots getting their spinners up to full speed, and Valkyrie initiating the first exchange. Coming in there, they're looking to jam up Captain Strider's spinner and hope to break something important within that robot. Strider here is pretty well known in Battlebots for working at the start of the match, then breaking down somehow, whether it's that full body spinner going down or their drive or something like that. So, Plus, that's really all Valkyrie can really do. Get that spinner up there is up to full speed and then go in go in for a shot on the Captain Shredderator and hope to break something important. But, however, it looks like it seems to be backfiring a little bit against them so far because I saw a couple pieces of their own spinner flying off right there. Well, previously. So, yeah, however, they are still initiating all the exchanges so far, which I think could really play big time to some of these judging that criteria. Quite a few weapon on weapon shots. One minute into this match, it's hard to tell who's on top. Because well, I think Captain Shredderator has been winning some of these exchanges for popping up Valkyrie a little bit. Valkyrie's been the aggressor so far, so it's kind of a mystery at least to me so far. So Captain Shredderator managing to fend off Valkyrie long enough to get that full body spinner back up to full speed. Now they're going in for some attacks on Valkyrie. Valkyrie accidentally takes themselves into the rails. They gotta be careful. Always the big threat to horizontal spinners like these two is the arena itself. And Captain Strider here just lost a piece of that full body spinner that might have been part of a weapon dude, maybe. So Val Valkyrie dishing out some damage of their own. However, Valkyrie is not moving right now. Wonder if Strider did something to the drive, but now Valkyrie's up and running. Wonder if something happened internal-wise that prevented Valkyrie from moving and Strider or maybe just hit the on switch. Because Valkyrie back on the attack with that undercutter at full speed. Going in for some more weapon-on-weapon -weapon shots. Some nice little taps right there from both robots, but definitely, definitely been an interesting fight so far. Less than a minute to go here. Both bots have taken quite a bit of damage to their weapons and see that see that Shredderator is getting closer and closer to control board, as is Valkyrie in a way too, but I think they have more HP though. So yeah. More weapon on weapon taps here from both bots. Hard to tell who's on top right now. How are the judges gonna score this thing if this goes to full three minutes? And it's sure looking like that, because we are at 15 seconds left in this fight. Valkyrie going in circles right now, but now going right back onto the attack once again. Five seconds left to go. Valkyrie escaping Captain Shredderator. Not sure if that's exactly a good look. And a couple last second taps, and this fight is going to the judges. Well, one thing I was wrong about was that I thought that fight was going to end in a knockout. But overall, this fight was pretty much what I was expecting. I was expecting we were going to see a ton of weapon-on-weapon -weapon action between these two robots. Because that's really all Valkyrie could really do in this case. Get that undercard up to full speed and just charge into Captain Shredderator and hope to break something important. Quite a few pieces of both robots' weapons have been flying off throughout the match. Both bots lost quite a few weapon teeth, and they're showing that each they were each able to do damage to their weapon. But how will the judges score this exactly? I felt Captain Shredderator controlled more of the shots, won more of the exchanges, but Valkyrie was kind of the one dictating the pace in the majority of the match. This should be a very close judges decision. Let's find out what the judges had to say about this one. So now, the judges' votes are in, and we have a split decision. The winner of this match is... Valkyrie! So yeah, that was an excellent fight from both robots here. Very close fight. I'm not shocked at all that this was a split decision, because this was a very back-and-forth fight for full three minutes and different factors. I think Valkyrie being more aggressive and dictating the pace of the fight is probably what won them over on the scorecard, but regardless, this was a close fight between these two absolutely powerful contenders. Valkyrie will move on to the final, where they await their opponent, which we're going to determine in the next matchup, whether it'll be The Apprentice or Jiak, while Captain Shredder will be moving on to the third place match to take on the losing robot of the next match. 
And they've definitely shown that they have what it takes to potentially win that fight and grab that last chance spot. Anyway, great victory by Valkyrie, great fight by Shredderator. Let's go move on to the second fight of the top four, which features The Apprentice and Shiok, two non-Malabots contenders. On the left side, we get The Apprentice, who has been on an absolute reign of terror so far. Two fights, two quick knockouts over Uppercut and Wrecker. Their opponent this time will be Shiok, who managed to who managed to, I think, redeem themselves pretty well after a pretty lackluster victory over Uppercut in the first round. And then they absolutely took it to Two Berg, Two Furious and dominated that fight for a Justice Decision victory. So, yeah, this is going to be a dangerous opponent for Jiak. So Jiak's probably going to be trying to box rush the Apprentice, prevent that full body spinner from giving to full speed, and then use the use that extra armor that that robot has to make some a more defensive style drum spinner to take any impact that they have to take from that horizontal spinner. The apprentice's strategy just destroy basically. That horizontal spinner has been dismantling opponents ever since it first made its debut last season in War Machines, and they're looking to add Jiak to their hit list. Will that happen though? Or will we see Jiak pull off an absolutely stunning upset in their path towards the Grand Final? I'm excited for this fight. Let's go ahead and find out who will be taking on Valkyrie in tonight's final for a spot in the Grand Final. Let's get to this fight. Time for this match to begin. Jiak box rushing. And already knocked off balance by the Apprentice and that spinner. And now the Apprentice on the chase flips Shiok and knocks the already pieces flying, including that drum spinner. Damage already stacking up and they are already on control board. There goes some chunks of that wedge right there. Shiok is in peril here. And there they go down again. Wow. All that armor. All that knowledge that Shiok is a well defensive robot all that wasn't able to save them in this one because they were just knocked out in less than 30 seconds that is the apprentice's second knockout that was in less than 30 seconds in this episode they were all over Jiak right from the start just tearing apart that robot with that horizontal spinner got to the side armor got to the drum spinner got to the wedge before getting the control board so yeah, after that fight, hard to tell if anybody's going to be able to stop the Apprentice. And we'll see if Valkyrie can, because Valkyrie has shown they are absolutely not a robot to be underestimated. That should be a good one, but we got a third place fight to talk about. Let's start talking about that now. So for our third place match, we have Captain Shredderator versus Shiok. So Captain Shredderator coming off of a very close judge's decision loss in a very good fight against Valkyrie. They had an excellent performance. They'll be taking on Jiak, who managed to prepare themselves up pretty well after that very quick beating they took from the Apprentice in their last match. So what's this going to come down to exactly? Captain Shredderator's strategy is probably going to be about the same. Try to get that full body spinner to full speed, charge into their opponents, damage their opponents and not get flipped. That's kind of what their strategy has been throughout so far, and it's worked out pretty well. Jiak, however, is no lightweight themselves. Definitely that drum spinner has been pretty effective so far, up until they took that beating from the apprentice at least, and definitely that wedge has really come into play. So, Jiak will probably be looking to box rush Captain Shredderator, keep that full body spinner from getting up to full speed, and then dish out some damaging shots with that drum spinner, and maybe invert Captain Shredderator. If they can get that flip, then it is game over for Captain Shredderator. That'll be an easy path to victory for Shiok if they can accomplish that. But no robot's been able to accomplish that so far this season. So, regardless though, I'm very excited for this match. I think we got a really exciting third place match coming. The winner of this fight will gain a spot in the last chance episodes. And whoever loses this one, they won't necessarily be out yet, but they better pray that their resume was good enough to be part of the half of the fourth place squad to get a spot into that last chance episode. Let's go ahead and get to this fight.
trying for this match to begin. Jacques with a box rush, getting right in there, but they are knocked back by that full body spinner. Huge shot right there that sends both bots flying backwards. And another big shot there that sends both bots flying backwards. Jacques' strategy is clearly to try to get in there before Captain Strider can get dangerous speeds. And while they're definitely charging in there, not sure if they're really slowing down Captain Striderator that much. We're already seeing smoke coming out of that drum spinner, showing that already Captain Striderator has probably punctured something. A couple pieces flying off too, meaning that that full body spinner is probably doing damage, because I do think those pieces do belong to Jacques there. Not sure exactly what, but damage is certainly damage. More weapon on weapon action between these tend to send each other back. Shredderator is definitely getting the space they need to get up to full speed. Jacques hasn't been able to slow that down that much, but they are doing a good job getting some good weapon-on-weapon -weapon exchanges that prevents Captain Shredderator from officially taking control of the match. So, still over a minute in right now. It's hard to tell who's on top. It's kind of been a little back and forth at least. He's uh, put lots of big weapon-on-weapon -weapon shots like that one right there. Jack might be might have been smoking since like near the opening bell, but this hasn't slowed them down one bit. They are continuing to charge in there. They are determined to break that full body spinner and be the aggressor. That's certainly one strategy. That's that, that that's certainly one of the strategies that helped Valkyrie in that judge's decision against Captain Shredder. Good little pop up there from that drum spinner. Another big weapon on weapon shot there. So yeah, pretty back and forth here. We are approaching the one minute mark. It's definitely a close fight. I'd say it's still anybody's game right now. Both bots are absolutely still in it right now. So now charging in there once again and taking a little shot to the side there is Shiok. Captain Strider, you're doing a good job of getting that full body sprint speed. And that was a huge shot. Might have been the biggest shot of the match as well as that one. Two amazing shots landed from Captain Shredderator. Two major hits, and now Captain Shredderator knocking off a couple more pieces. Certainly, those were a couple really well-defining moments. 30 seconds left to go, and yeah, coming in for more action here. Well, they're not afraid to take the extra punishment. That should be expected of somebody like this. Nice shot from Jacques, though, knocking Captain Shredderator into the rails. Certainly, some excellent performance later on from them as well. Hard to tell who's winning this fight. 10 seconds left to go. Another good pop-up by Jacques. It is looking like we are going to have a judge's decision. And the clock has officially hit zero. Another absolute brawl from this full body spinner and its opponent. And right off the bat, Jacques clearly was looking to box rush Captain Shredderator. And we saw several incredible weapon on weapon shots between these two bots. Some of them I think favored Captain Shredderator, others favored Jacques. So one thing that's for sure, Captain Shredderator definitely did a lot more damage in this match because Jacques has been smoking from about the start of the match and then they've been gradually losing pieces kind of ever since. That right there was one of Jacques's biggest moments as well as that one. Captain Shredderator had a few huge moments of their own managed to flip over Jot like that one right there and certainly certainly this is going to be a difficult one to call because while Captain Shredder did a lot more damage Jot was definitely the aggressor regardless this is a close judge's decision let's hear what the judges had to say so the judges votes are in and we have a split decision the winner is Jock. So another very close judge's decision here that Captain Shredder was involved with. This was the second split judge's decision of the episode the result in their downfall. Showing that Captain Shredder has had several phenomenal performances. But I think Jock being the aggressor is probably what put them over the top in this one. But regardless, that was a very close fight. Jock will for sure be in the last chance episode. As for Captain Shredderator, their status is unknown, but they certainly have a piled up a pretty good resume, so we'll have to see if they grab one of those extra spots into that episode. So, 
So yeah, great fight from these two. Pretty well-deserved spots from both robots. Let's move on to tonight's final, which features the Apprentice and Valkyrie, two fellow horizontal spinners. So on the left side, we got the Apprentice, who has been on an absolute murder spree. Three fights, three quick KOs over Wrecker, Jock, and Uppercut. Valkyrie, on the other hand, they had to go to the redemption round after a loss to Ripper in their opening round match, but has bounced back ever since with a solid rumble victory over Battle Royale with Cheese and Ab94, followed by two more great victories over Riptide and Captain Shredderator in order to get here. So, one thing is for sure, how is Valkyrie, what is Valkyrie going to need to do here? Because the Apprentice, that horizontal spinner, has proven to be absolutely deadly so far. What is Valkyrie going to need to do to prevent themselves from being a, the Apprentice's next victim? So, Valkyrie's going to need to get that, get in with that horizontal spinner as soon as possible and start dishing out damaging shots of their own before the Apprentice can land shots of their own. So, yeah, I think this is going to come down to who can start landing those damaging blows first. Well, I think the Apprentice has shown so far during these two episodes that they have the more effective spinner. I think Valkyrie has a reach advantage in this one, which I think could really come into play. So, so yeah, the, I don't think this fight's going to go the full three minutes, that's for sure. Because we have two very destructive horizontal spinners who have both looked great so far this season. So, this should be an exciting final. Another one full of chaos. I think we should go ahead and get to this fight and find out who's going to be claiming the next spot in this season's Grand Final Bracket. Let's get to this showdown. Time for this final to begin! Both we weapons getting up to full speed. Some weapon-on-weapon -weapon action. Valkyrie popped up into the air! They are inverted! Here comes the Apprentice with a couple grinding shots. Some more weapon-on-weapon -weapon action between these two. And Valkyrie popping the Apprentice up into the air, but they lost the Weapon Tooth. Valkyrie is starting to take some damage to that spinner. More weapon-on-weapon -weapon action between these two robots. More weapon-on-weapon -weapon there. Another Weapon Tooth went flying off of Valkyrie. Valkyrie is starting to take some major damage. And huge hit there from the Apprentice. Just absolutely punting Valkyrie. And now they have Valkyrie in the corner. That horizontal spinner dishing out so much damage already, and that is going to do it! The Apprentice in the Grand Final! Well, I think if the Apprentice already isn't on your radar for robots who could potentially take home the whole title, I bet it is now. Four fights, four quick KOs. Valkyrie, while they had that one opportunity there, that was about it. Valkyrie definitely had a reach advantage but it definitely didn't help them because the Apprentice was able to get in there with that horizontal spinner, break down that spinner, land that huge shot that hunted Valkyrie across the arena, and eventually get to some of the internals within that robot. The Apprentice, definitely that wedge looked like it came in handy on the front of that robot because it looked like it managed to pop Valkyrie up into the air and line it up. Incredible showing from the Apprentice, Definitely a well-earned grand final spot. And how about that shot right there? Definitely the biggest one of the episode. So yeah, that's going to do it for this group. To review, The Apprentice will be awarded spot number six in the grand final. While Valkyrie, Yak, potentially Captain Shredderator will fight in the Last Chance series to try to gain some of those last grand final spots. They will definitely be major contenders for that, and robots that I could absolutely see taking one of those grand final spots. So there was a lot of competition there in this group, and I'm sure we're going to see a lot of that from the next group, which features another top 8 contender, as well as several other great veteran robots, as well as a couple rookie bots, who I imagine are going to show quite a lot of potential. So I think there's quite a lot of fun on the way. So yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button for more. Yeah, coming up next time, we'll start Heat G, where I already talked about some of the contenders within there. 
we have another top eight robot that will be making its debut to this season of War Machines that should absolutely make an impact on this season for sure. So, so yeah, more fun is on the way. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye, all.